wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best true crime books. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. Fans of the popular Netflix series will be interested in Unmaking a Murderer, which examines the case of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. John Atwood makes it clear he thinks the two were framed, so don't expect an impartial narrative from this one. It contains timely subject matter and details missing from the show. However, it also includes a lot of conjecture. At number 9, for a twist on traditional narrative style, the 57 bus relates a crime not just through factual recounting, but also lyrical explorations of the themes involved. Dashka Slater manages to tell the stories of both parties without shying away from the social issues present. It uses a wide variety of research sources and confronts gender and cultural strife, but the storytelling jumps around a lot. Coming in at number 8 in our list, Douglas Preston and Mario Spezzi's The Monster of Florence takes a wild turn as the author's investigation of a string of serial murders in Italy brings them into conflict with local authorities, and they find themselves being accused of involvement in the crimes. It explores Tuscan culture and includes an afterword about the Amanda Knox case. However, readers may guess the killer quickly. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for true crime books, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, in Shallow Graves, Maureen Boyle traces the history of the New Bedford Highway serial killer, a case involving 11 women who disappeared in 1988. Though there were several suspects, the truth was never discovered, but the families of the victims still hope for justice. The writer covered the story for decades and has a superb knowledge of the local area, but it lacks a satisfying conclusion. Moving up our list to number 6, Paul Sanders' Banquet of Consequences explores a vicious crime known as the Carnation Murders. A seemingly senseless violent act is examined in the hope of understanding exactly what occurred and why a woman would kill members of her own family. It follows the full scope of the trial and features an interview with a suspect. However, it leaves some questions unanswered. Halfway up our list at number 5. No list of true crime titles would be complete without Truman Capote's classic In Cold Blood. The literary prose breathes life into the townspeople who lived through this tragedy, though some later said the author invented much of the dialogue. It follows the victims and the killers, and includes the luxurious descriptions of Kansas, but the writer is too close to be impartial. At number 4, John Glatt's My Sweet Angel tells the story of Lacey Spears, a blogger who appeared to be the concerned mother of a sick five-year-old son, but it turned out she'd been deliberately making her child ill and poisoned him to elicit sympathy. It features interviews with the family and provides medical details. However, some of the sections are repetitive. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, recounting one of the most famous trials in American history, without a doubt gives us Marcia Clark's perspective on the O.J. Simpson case. She and writer Teresa Carpenter explain not just the facts, but how the experience affected her personally. It covers the entire legal process and includes details of the author's private life. It puts the case in historical context. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for true crime books, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, The Stranger She Loved takes readers into the seemingly perfect life of Martin and Michelle McNeil, a Mormon couple with eight children. When their mother is killed, the kids investigate and find out their father isn't the man they thought he was. It contains vivid descriptions and was written by an award-winning journalist. It delves into the psychology of a killer. And coming in at number one on our list. In I'll Be Gone in the Dark, Michelle McNamara chronicles her search to uncover the identity of a California serial murder dubbed the Golden State Killer, a quest she was ultimately never able to finish as she passed away before the book was completed. It uses an inventive narrative style and is thorough and well-researched. It includes an introduction by Gillian Flynn. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyviz.com. Go there now and search for true crime books, or simply click beneath this video.